I'm going to ask you very politely, calmly, and nicely to get out of bed! Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm Carl and this is Waterside Fishing Adventures. So you join me today on the Norfolk Broads. I'm in one of the staiths, which is Stullum. And we're going to do a bit of float fishing and see what we can catch down the edge. There's some lilies and stuff like that. So I've got my rod. I've got six pound line on, got Drennan 7 reel. We're running the float at about, we well, just plumbed it and we're looking at about three and a half foot. So that's what we're doing. Gonna put a couple of maggots on the end. I've got here nice tub of point of mixed maggots. So we'll stick what a red and a white on, shall we? Red and a bronze. And let's see what's down there. Let's see what we can catch. I'll spin you around and show you the area. And we'll do a bit of fishing. So this is where we are. We're on like a junction. Got a lovely set of lilies sitting down in front of us. And then a nice big wide river. And then over the other side, we've got a nice gap in the trees over there and then lilies all the way along the bank. So we've got plenty of places to have a go at. But at the moment, we're going to fish these lilies in front of me. And just see what we can get down there. If that doesn't work, we can always switch over to a feeder or something like that and go further out. So let's have a go. So I'm fishing just in front of the lilies down here. I'll throw a ball of ground back out there and show you where we're roughly fishing. Basically there somewhere. Won't put too much out to start with, and we just want to slowly build up the swim and see how we go. So, let's fire a couple of maggots out there. Got a white and a little pinky. Let's whip it out and see what we can get. Can we get a bite on the first cast? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You never know. Float's sitting out there nicely, so... That must be, the bait must be fluttering down nicely. We're not getting caught in the flow and drifting along or nothing. So that's good. I've got the float slightly higher today, just so I can see it a bit better. Because we have got a ripple going across. A 
Oh, we've got a bite. That's good. Bite on the first cast. Getting little knocks. But we'll wait for it to disappear and go under or start going along. Here we go. Oh, and I missed it. <laughs> Not good, is it? <laughs> That's a shame. It'd be nice to get one on the first cast. All right, let's get back out there again then. Hopefully you can see where I'm putting the float. Just in front of them lilies there. It's a lovely day, we've got 25, 26 degrees, but we've got a nice little breeze and I've got a big tree behind me sort of giving me a bit of shade so that's quite nice. There's a lot of wasps and bits and pieces of that about which is annoying. <laughs> but we can deal with that as long as we're catching a few fish. Right, so I'll have a couple of casts, sort of start building up a swim and stuff. And I'll bring you back hopefully when we're starting to get a few bites and hopefully we'll fish. So I had a large perch on a minute ago and lost it just as I got to the net. And now I've got this tiny little, <laughs> tiny little rod. But I'm getting bites most casts, so that's good. So let's build up a swim with some ground bait and stuff and see how we go from there so today got a nice point of mixed maggots got some pellets got hemp got huge hemp with all sorts of different grains and stuff in tin of sweet corn nice big mix of the old ground bait red crumb brown crumb maggots hemp maize all sorts of different stuff in there so that should keep us going for a little bit so the place where we are, loads of boats all moored up, but I've got a nice spare moor in here and there's a nice load of lilies all the way along here, which is lovely. And then there's all moorings to me right as well, and all the way down the river. I thought that looks nice, I'm going to feed this up, and let's see what we can get. So after losing that perch, I think I'll stick it. Nice worm bait down there. It's a bit windy as well, it's not standing still. I think you get the idea. So let's get it out there. See if we get a bite. Obviously that'll still work for other fish as well. Roach, bream, etc. Always good to mix the baits up and try different stuff. Got sweet corn to try as well. Got maize. We're also using maggots. We can put pellet on with a band if we wanted to. And we've got dips and stuff we could try. So let's just keep going and see what we can produce. I've just put another four balls of ground bait down there. I think we've got to get the swim going a bit. I can't go really shallow and catch like a little rudd and stuff every cast, but try for some bigger stuff. So we'll build the swim up over the next hour or so, and hopefully we'll start producing some nice fish. Oh, we've got a bite. What is it? Little nips. If it was a perch, I think I would have just swallowed it and disappeared with it, but you never know. Got a little fish jumping around in front of me and stuff. Come on, are you going to take it properly or just going to nibble at it?
just like to say this is the first time I've ever fished here so I'm working out as I do it. But I thought I'd try closing on these lilies today, another day I'll put the ledger out, we might even put one out today, we'll see. Let's see what we can get. I've obviously got to be careful of the boat traffic. As you can see, people on canoes. We've also got a massive boat net coming, which you'll see coming from the right side of the picture in a minute. And as you can see, there's a lot of these big boats on the boards. People are out on their holidays having fun. If you saw behind me in the stafes, there must be, oh, I don't know, probably over a hundred of them. And they're in and out every day. And getting swapped over to different people every week. I think it's something we'll do later on in the channel. We'll get a boat, obviously not a massive great thing like that. We'll get something we can actually fish off. You know, and get around the boards a little bit and do some stuff like that. But as a lot of you know, I'm not that well at the moment, so I've got to get over this COVID and get better. And then once I'm sort of, you know, back to normal and stuff and I've sorted everything out, caught up with all my bills and that sort of stuff, and we can get a bit more adventurous again. I'm surprised this worm ain't gone flying off. I wonder if them bites earlier on took a worm. Oh, we got a lily. <laughs> right, so I'll have a couple more casts. We'll see if we can get this build up. And once I've got it built up, I'll bring you back and hopefully show you some fish. Fish on. Now have a little rud, a bit bigger. Lost a bream a minute ago, but starting to build a swim up, so that's all good. It's nice and sunny, lovely and warm. And little bottles of water just to keep hydrated. Not too many people about, a few boats, but nothing to worry about. So let's try and get some more fish. I'm getting some great bites, hopefully you'll see them on camera boat's going like flying along to the left we're just going flying under I've got sweet corn on at the moment don't know if they're bream or roach I ain't hooked up yet as you can see I put another shot on the float and shot the float down just slightly more so let's hope we can start hooking into some nice fish Yeah, got a bite again now, let's just a lift bite. Definitely a lot of fish down there playing about with it, you know, the baits and stuff. Smaller fish. Which obviously if I put a single maggot on I can get one every cast, but trying to get some, you know, bigger roach would be nice. I'm just try and close in down here for a minute see if it's any different. Another big boat now going past. It's been you know, probably four or five in the last half an hour or so. It's quite windy out here, but hopefully my white kit and stuff is cancelling that all out. You can see on the water it's quite a wind. It's actually quite nice because it's fairly warm. Alright, let's 
get back out to our normal spot. Starting to get a bite most cast now. So let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Stra oh, straight under. <laughs> Starting to find a few fish here now. So the ground bait is starting to do its job. Oh, under again. Oh, little rod. <laughs> I can swing that one in. At least we've got a few fish starting to feed in there now. I'm just getting a bite every time I put a float out now. So that's good. Let's have another go and see what else we can get this time. Bigger baits on at the moment, I'm putting a red, a bronze, and a white maggot on at the moment. So I'm putting three on. So I normally find this helps me in the rivers for the nice sized roach. Not that we've got any roach in the swim yet, that I know of, but you've got to build a swim up to get them going. That wind is getting quite rough. <laughs> bite already and we're in again what is it oh I lost it <laughs> there's a little rod for a bit bigger than the ones we've had before the biggest fish so far has been the perch I dropped just before the net probably and that come up to about a pound I reckon it's a nice sized fish and we've got a bite again we're literally getting bite as soon as we got on the spot now which is good what we want. Now we just need some bigger fish to move in and push these rod out. Here we go. Oh, that was a better fish. Much better fish. Yeah, threw some bigger fish down there then. That's a shame. Guessing it was a perch and the way it was jaggering about. It wasn't a bream. It was too rough a sort of fight. So the swim's starting to build up, which is good. Anyone else been out recently? If you have, where you been? What you caught? Leave it in the comments below, please. And I'll get back to you straight away. Literally, as soon as the float settles in the spot, I'm getting a bite straight away every time now. She's good, not complaining. Just be nice if the fish size get bigger. There we go. Yep, yep. Ooh. Take it properly, come on. Stop messing with it. How can you miss that? They're taking off three maggots and just disappearing with the float. And we're still not hooking them. Now I've got a 16 on at the moment. Hook size. Might have to go bigger. If we can hook one and land one and see what they actually are. And we can sort of adapt our gear to the situation. Right, so I'll have a couple more casts. Should be hooking a few more fish up, I would think. And hopefully I'll see you very soon with the fish. Well, I'm still getting a bite of cast at the moment. Another little rod. There's lots of these down there. Do we need something to... Wee, come on. <laughs> need something to scare these off. 
<laughs> I have hooked into a bream and a perch, but I haven't landed them at the moment, which is not good. <laughs> but we'll keep trying, we're getting a bite every cast. Weather is absolutely lovely, as you can probably see behind me, the sun's in the sky. Nice blue, blue sky, lovely setting. What more can you ask for? So let's get another bait on. Let's see if we can get some more. Keep feeding up the swim. Keep trying different things. And at some point we should land something much bigger. Well, that's the plan. That's what we come out to do, isn't it? <laughs> I'm having fun anyway, it's nice to be out. As a lot of you know, I've been stuck in bed for the last three weeks with COVID, so I'm not sure I'll be sitting on the bank. So I'm going to keep casting out. Keep getting these bites. I've got a bite again already. And let's see what more we can get. Another rod. Slightly bigger. But not massive. <laughs> okay, three, four maggots. And I can still get these one across. I'm gonna bombard it, I think, in a minute with like six to eight balls of ground bait. Let's see if we can move these out and move something else in. Right, I'm getting literally these smaller rod every single cast, so I'm gonna bombard it now with a load of these and see if we can feed them off a bit and see what else we can get in there. Probably going to kill things off a bit because they're obviously going to be able to feed for a little while. But I might move in some bream and some roach and that sort of stuff because obviously I'd prefer to get some of that sort of stuff. So, what's that? A good eight balls of big lumps of ground bait. Some maggots over the top. And we'll get down there with some baits. And let's see what we can do now. So I've had to put the old umbrella up because it's looking a bit nasty in the background. It's meant to rain, so don't want to get soaked on the camera equipment and stuff like that. I ain't too bothered if I get a bit wet because it's pretty hot anyway. Got some swans now over on the far bank. I'll spin you around and show you what we've got happening. So we've got that coming in as you can see <laughs> I think we might get wet it's looking a bit rough here we've got family of swans moved in over here on the far bank in the gap over there can't be too deep in there because that one's standing up on is it <laughs> so that's probably not worth casting into there maybe this side of the gap in the actual river maybe I'm just trying really close in down here at the moment and as you can see there's a fish on there <laughs> so let's see what that is and I'll be back with you in a minute <laughs> uh, really somehow I managed to miss that even though that was flying along it's crazy isn't it Sorry if my voice is a bit croaky, but I'm still not better properly yet. Let's open up the frame and see if you can see what I'm actually doing. You should be able to see the float there. Yep, here we go. I'm just letting the main swim out there where I just fed up with all the ground bait and that. Just letting it settle down for half an hour or so, and then I'll start putting some bait over again. Just thought I'd ever go close in and see if there's any perch or anything down in front of me. And I seem to be getting a few bites. But we ain't hooked up yet, but I ain't been actually watching the float because I've been getting the umbrella and stuff out and you know packing up the gear and mustn't get wet. Because as you saw, 
it's going to pour with rain soon. Because <laughs> I put you down here on the float now, look, it's not going to go under that. <laughs> Always the case, isn't it? Bait's gone anyway, so. Ah, oh, so one thing I'd forgot, and there's a good note when you're fishing the broads and stuff, caught on the Lilia, <laughs> um, is obviously the tide's going up and down, so the tide's coming up and got a lot more depth. That's so why I actually weren't fishing on the bottom now. I've just re plumbed it and I was well out, so just remember that when you're fishing the boards and stuff, the tide goes up and down on a lot of that. Still got boats going past every 10 minutes or so. It's not really affecting the fishing to be honest. The river's plenty wide enough. Right, so we're back out on the spot where we ground baited a little while ago. And we're now gonna give it the first cast after all that ground bait. Let's see what happens. Let's bring you in closer, shall we? There you go, you should be able to see the float there. Oh, we're gonna get a bite on the first cast. Or have we overfed it a bit and we've got to wait even longer? It's been about half an hour now since I put the ground bait down there. So I'd expect our food fish to be down there now and Settled on the bait, I would have thought. Yep, I think we got a bite. It didn't take long, did it? Yep, here we go. Getting little tugs and lift bites. And For people that don't know, a lift bite basically is if a float comes up in the air out of the water and the bait's been picked up off the bottom and then picked up like the, the um, shot nearest to the hook and brought it upwards which brings the float up. You still strike them as well if they come out of the water well. That's just a quick little thing then just leave it but if it comes up and stays up, strike it. This one's just messing around I think. Obviously the other bites you can get, they can drift to the left, drift to the right, or just go and fly on straight under, which is what we want. <laughs> yeah, my favourite. Yep, here we go. Fish on. This is a bear fish. What is it? Let's pull them back as well. Ooh. Right, I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, so we're down on the mat with this one. Lovely perch, quite a decent size. Look at that, lovely. Don't mind a few of them, do we? Better time we've done our normal one, something like that. Yeah, nice fish. Not bad at all. Got a little doggy come over to see me behind me. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Look at that, lovely strobe. You get him to put his fin up. Go on, put it up. Look at that. It'd be nice if it stayed up, but that's not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, nice to get a good sized fish. Alright, let's get it back in and see what else we can get. I weren't expecting big perch today, didn't really think about it to be honest, but I thought I might get a few you know, smaller ones, but I've actually had some quite nice size ones. So don't mind a few more of them. 
So I'm going to get back out there. Weather's starting to cool down a bit now. I think the rain's going to move in pretty soon. But as you know on this channel, it don't stop us. We just keep going. So let's see what we get on this cast. Well, let's see what's moved in down there, shall we? Let's put a nice juicy cocktail out there. Nice, decent sized worm with a couple of maggots. Let's see what it produces. You never know, there might be some really decent sized perch down there. Or there could be some bream or some nice roach. So let's get out there and find out. I'll spin you around and let's get cast out. All right, so let's see what's happening. Gone slightly further out than the actual lilies now because that's a plumbed it and that's actually that little bit deeper, which is not a bad thing. So I'm sort of going there now, hopefully you can see that. The float's very low. Which could be a little bit of extra dent now. I think we've got a boy already. You, yeah, <laughs> as you can see. Stuff pulling away at that one. So I bet the noise, big old boats now pulling in. Where he's going. Baby, then what come here? Well, it's going to disturb me swimming a lot, isn't it? I don't know what he's up to. He's obviously he might have come down the wrong one, or he might be going in the bay next to me. Yeah. Either way, it's going to. Disturb me fishing, I think. Pumps, yeah, friend. Uh. Just, just asked me where the fill worm stuff was. <laughs> it's come down the wrong one. Which is a bit of a shame because it's obviously going to disturb my fishing a little bit. But hopefully that will settle down again and we'll be back on the fish fairly quickly, hopefully. And we do believe I've got a bite again, so yeah, definitely have. Get a lot of nibbles off the smaller fish, but when something decent, take it. The float either lifts right up or it just disappears to the left or the right. So, got ducks over in the gap on the far side and the other river now. And, oh, look at that big lift bite! <laughs> Is that small stuff just playing with it or? What have we got down there? Don't actually know if there's any tench or anything in there. If anyone could let me know if I've fished here before, or even any carp, would be good. I know there's some carp in the Hickland Broad, but whether they come around here is a different thing. Yeah, it's definitely a bite. Wait, no. <laughs> So I'm just playing with that's the trouble with the smaller fish play with the worm. Whereas obviously which one to get a bigger fish on it. I've got to be brought up higher at the moment because these lilies in front of us. Always the line get wrapped around them. And bigger perch and stuff seem to go flying straight down lilies when you hook one up. But ain't there too much of a problem so far. Well that rain in here is yet, but it's still looking pretty black over there. As you 
can probably see now. It's not looking good, but it isn't raining yet, so not complaining. <laughs> Sorry to be about like that, I'm just trying to see if I can get you nice and close to the float. Doesn't seem like the fish want to take the bigger baits. I put a couple of magnets on, I can get a bite straight away, but then they're, they're mainly a little rud. But then we had the poach and stuff on the maggots as well, so can't complain. I just thought the poach would obviously go after a nice worm, but hard to tell. Right, I'll bring you back when some more activity happens. So I've tried to worm for, I don't know, probably about half an hour now, and the flow's getting all little taps and moving you know, all over the place, but it's not actually getting taken. That's, I think that's just a little rod and stuff pulling it. So I'll switch back to baits I got, a couple of red and a white, and getting proper bites again straight away. So. Let's see what we can do. Got some big boats in that going through again. A big old boat, as you can see. A lot of nice boat. Be nice. <coughs> Sorry, I went quiet there. I had a tangle around me reel. Uh, it'd be nice to get out and fish on the back of that one. All right, so let's have a cast back into the main swim. Obviously, cast out further and bring it in. Let's see if we can get a bite straight away. A bit of luck. sitting high and if something's took it on the way down staying up in the water with it no not happy with that I'm gonna recast that I don't know why the float shouldn't have been sitting that high I've reshot it so it's lower than that Settled nicely this time. Can we get a bite straight away? Yep, here we go. Fish on. Fish off. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? That was annoying, that little I was a roach. Let's try again. Yep, boy, straight away again. It's always good. Kingfisher that was, I don't know if you saw that. It's 
Someone was thinking about it. Just nibble it. Just not completely taking it. Here we go. Go on, take it properly. Give her something nice. Well, <laughs> they're definitely playing with it, aren't they? But they're not just ripping it under. I think if I shallowed up slightly and just for single mega, I'll get one at cast. But like I said before, I'm trying to get some bigger fish to move in, and if they do, they're more likely going to move in on the bottom. Can't see anyone else fishing here today, but that's a big old place, so it could be anyone anywhere really. I don't know what the ducks are doing over there, but they're over in that gap where the swans were. They've been splashing around probably for the last over half an hour. You can probably hear them. <laughs> Still didn't have this rain yet. Oh, fish on. Well, <laughs> fish off again. That's two in a row now. That, that was only a tiddly one, that one there. That nothing to worry about. But a fish is a fish. I'm here to catch fish today. Didn't really have a target. Another nice boat going past. Don't know if the boat traffic really sort of upsets the fishing or not. Mm -hmm. I would have thought they must be used to it by now. Boats in and out all day long. Can't see why that make a lot of difference. The trouble is if I was actually fishing across to the other bank. You know, say under them other lilies or even down the middle, they'd be reeling in every two minutes with the feeder to let boats pass and stuff, you know. It's probably going to go quiet slightly for a bit now, just because the boat's just gone through. No, I've got a bite. Here the ducks are over there in that gap there. And they're, I don't know what they're doing, but they're going crazy. Splashing around and I ain't going to do it now. I focused you on it. They were really flapping their wings and in the water really hard. Yeah, one's doing it. Isn't it? There's a good one there. Ten or twelve of them in there, and they're all sort of getting excited and doing whatever they're doing. Back on the float.
Oh, here we go. So strange, the bikes are so soft, they're not like just grabbing and gone, like, you know, like a bream just slide away and you're in. These are just little, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, how did we miss that? <laughs> that absolutely disappeared. Some of these bikes are crazy. The float just disappears and there's nothing there when you strike. You're getting a bite every single cast now, so that's pretty good. But I've got to demand some more fish apart from these little rudd. Obviously, had some nice perch, and we lost a bream. I think most of these little knocks are off little rudd, I think. Seem to be a couple of patches of bubbles coming up. Not sure what they are. Hopefully some good fish. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully some good fish digging in the bottom. And looking for food. Got quite a few people, uh, people, <laughs> quite a few fish surfacing around me as well, which is not normal for the down here. I quite often walk around here, looking around, and you don't see many fish surfacing. I don't know if they're in my area because I've ground baited it all up, or
But at the moment, the rain seemed to have missed us, which is spot on. But we just want these bigger fish to move in now. I thought the worm would have worked, to be honest. You know, get a few perch. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sometimes the fish must literally just grab hold of the end of the maggots and no, I actually tear the whole thing in its mouth. <laughs> Straight under. Not like you know, and again, really, <laughs> they're really good bites. Why are we not connecting it? Lots of bubbles coming up around the lilies and stuff as well, so there's, there's definitely oh, there's definitely stuff down there rooting around. Let's, let's try to close in. See if we can hook up to something right down in front of us. It's a little bit shallower down here, but doesn't mean there ain't no fish down there. That's not instant action like I was getting just out there. But. You haven't got a bite. I've got a fish. <laughs> Don't need to net this one. Little perch. Oh, give you a quick look. Just a little perch, nothing like the one we had earlier, but shows moving around. Always angry at his fin up, and it's getting angry with me. <laughs> But another fish, all good. Well, here's something I ain't caught for a long time. Can't actually remember the last time I caught one. We can actually get it and hold it. <laughs> Gudgeon. Lovely little fish. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, smart little fish, isn't it? It's been a while since I've had one of them. Used to catch them when I was a. Ooh, good job of maths then, isn't it? Let's put it back. Used to catch them when I was a teenager, many, many years ago. Down the River Gipping in Ipswich. But, no, I haven't had one for a long, long time. So that was good, nice to catch something different. I've got a lot of fish rolling in the swimming stuff. There's definitely some excitement going on. But there's also a lot of fish jumping out, which are only sort of fry size, like I guess pike and perch about or something like that. But obviously we'll keep feeding, we'll keep fishing the swim, and see what else we can get. Been alright so far, well, it's things. Black skies are over that way, but 
They don't seem to be coming this way, so. The clouds are not actually moving, which is strange. They're normally you know, going one way or the other. Right, ducks are still playing over there. So there's nothing I can do about that. Right, I'm gonna get another bait on and see what else we can get. Another nice boat going through. It's a uh, run out one by the looks things. Right, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna just put a single white maggot out there. I'll let you see me do it. I'll just plop it in and see what happens. We'll tap. That's all we need. Zoom you in a bit so you can see the float. How quick can we get a bite? Oh, the line's wrapped around the lily, so that's not good. But if we can get a bite and a fish at the same time, that'll be fine. Will a single white maggot give us a bite? Yep, it certainly will. Oh, really? Whew. squashed or nothing so we'll put it back out again the wind seemed to have calmed down slightly now which is in our favour all right you should be able to see that yeah bite straight away look It literally bites before the bait's even getting anywhere near the bottom. Which, like I say, I think we could get them all day long, but it's not really what we're trying to do. We're gonna have a, you know, we're gonna have a net full of rud. And probably the odd different fish, but trying to get through to the bigger stuff. I don't know, we get by this little game and there's nothing there. As the day pro you know, progresses and it gets a bit later, so towards the evening and stuff. I'll try things like double sweet corn and just sit back and see what happened on that sort of thing as well. But at the moment, well, well, you just saw that fish jump as well as fish moving about. And then, oh, look at all the bubbles coming up. There's definitely something going on down there. I think it's pike and perch are taking stuff around. Because I've got the smaller fish moved in on the ground bait. Obviously, the pike and the perch have worked out all free dinner. Easy catch, yeah. Well, that didn't work. I couldn't get one in the white bag, even though I'm getting the bites. Uh, let's try the red one this time. I don't know why the red one seemed to always get the perch. So there's our red one. We'll stick a red one out there. Let's see if that makes a difference, see if we hook up this time. There's a little grid in front of us and the flow kick in corner every time we bring it in. Right, so we're back out there again. Let's see if we can hook up on a red maggot easier. 
don't know why, sometimes they just take a more fist. Fish on the straw. Oh, tiny fish, but we had a fish on the straw away. Let's try again with the same bait. So it doesn't too much to it, I don't think. Not like that. <laughs> Wind caught that cast. Wind's starting to pick up again. Good news. Seagulls flying about. Taking a little fish off the top by loose things. There is a lot of frying out at the moment. As you'll probably see if you've watched some of my shorts videos, I've tried a few shorts and I found I don't know, a massive shoal of fry, probably 10,000 fish. If you didn't watch my shorts, pop onto the channel and have a look at some of the shorts, they're only like 15 seconds long. Takes a little bit longer to get a bite on the red maggot by the loose wings. Definitely something there, but it's not really taking it. Just bobbing up and down, as you can see. Nope. <laughs> right, I'll have a few more casts and see what else I can get. I'll bring you back when the action picks up again. picking up these every cast <laughs> well most casts come on fishy stay still getting a bit bigger and a couple slightly bigger than that as well but I'm just recharging the old cameras and stuff at the moment so I'm going to bring them all to camera but yeah still getting a few fish and I'm seeing lots of bubbles and stuff coming up so hopefully some bigger fish moved in but I think I'm going to sit back on a double sweep on bait or something now and see how we get on with that see if there's any bream or anything down there now got another couple of people just down the side here going to sit up next to me because they've seen me catching a few fish so we'll try that and I'll let you know how I get on with that and we'll go from there well it's been a little while now still getting loads of these little things had to go on um that back have a go on um double sweet corn worm you know bigger baits but all the little stuff just seem to be chewing at it mm. don't seem to be any bigger fish down there at the moment can't seem to find any more of them perch don't know whether to 
I start from another spot or try further out, see if it's deeper. I think I might plumb my depth and just see if it's a lot deeper further out and maybe have a go out there. I'll still keep coming back to that swim every now and again, but I've got to keep trying some different stuff and see if we can find some bigger fish. Well, managed to find another perch. They were near as big as the one we had earlier on, but still another fish. And that's not a little rudder or roach. <laughs> So at least we've got something different. Wee, 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 come on, fishy. It's not angry, he's not putting his fin up. <laughs> right, let's put it back. Let's see what else we can get. It's going a bit dull on stuff at the moment, so. Don't know what we're what going to do. Sun's going in a bit. I've still got my sunglasses on just to stop glaring, I can see in the water with them, so what I'm gonna do is that mags are still okay. I'll show you where I was fishing. So basically I was fishing just down there, a little handful of maggots. And away the float went, so let's give it another go. It's quite a lot shallower down in front of me like that, but there's fish down there, and they're bigger than the ones on the baited area, then that's what we'll do. Ooh, we had another bite, I missed it, but we definitely had another bite. Wind's picked up quite a lot now. It's actually getting a bit chilly to be honest, now the sun's gone down. Well, I ain't gone down, but just got behind the clouds and stuff. So, is there more than one perch sitting down there? <laughs> I would have thought so. More me in a little shell, wouldn't they? Move at the moment. I can see one, two, three, four. There's five behind me. And the river bit behind me, all now going out there. A lot of activity. I think around four o'clock is the time when they do the changeover. Because they always seem to be busy about this time. Picked up a leaf or something that time. Let's get that off, shall we? I'm well over depth down there, that's the thing. Jim Lily, should we? Can you see that? A little bite already, that's good. Moved off with it and dropped it. <laughs> Got a little bit. Still there. Oh, we've got something different. Gonna hand this one up. It's not too big. So 
So what do we got? We have a skimmer. It's what they call a small brain. Skimmer brain. Lovely job. Dude. We'll have to get something different. Alright, let's get it back and see what else we can get. Stranger, you come off a, you know, got a baiter spot out there with all them balls of ground bait on it. You'd think a brain would move down on there, wouldn't you? I'm gonna come down close in, cut my hand with maggots, and the fish are down there. <laughs> so we're back down there. Can we get a bite straight away again? Can't believe I've been feeding that swim up for what? Probably four hours now. You think it'd bring me moving down there, not <laughs> be somewhere different in the swim, wouldn't you? I know it weren't massive or anything, but you'd think some, you know, three, four, five pounders are moving down on the ground bait. Oh, we've got a bite. Let's move it a bit. Family cruise in the river. Keep trying some spots and bring you back on the next fish. Someone's out on a canoe, they want to paddle about. And he's got someone behind him as well on the paddle board. Shall show you when they get past. That's the person out on the old paddle board. We're gonna have fun to try and stay up on. <laughs> I'm trying close in, literally down under me rod tip at the moment. See what's down there. So things have changed a little bit. Had some rain and we've got thunderstorms and all sorts going across at the moment. It's a lot more thunder and lightning than it is rain, which is good. Hopefully I'm not gonna get soaked. Got the old umbrella up as you know anyway. And on the fishing front, I'm keeping the sweet corn out and I'm fishing sweet corn over the top of it. Cannot seem to get onto these big bream. Don't know if there's some, because I'm fishing too close into the edge. Maybe I should be out in the middle on a feeder or something like that, or not really sure. But I'm here still giving it a good go. The sun's obviously completely gone now. I've still got my glasses on because I can see the float a lot better because I've literally only got the tiny bit of the tip sticking out of the water at the moment. Actually a little bit chilly, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm getting little knocks and little bites all the time, but I know they're just little rud and stuff. I'm hoping I'm going to get you know, a nice bream, four or five pounds or something like that would be nice. But can only try. I think the time now is nearly half four, half seven. It's going to be when it's dark, so 
we'll keep going for a little while yet and hopefully we'll pick up into some bigger fish if nothing happens you know after a while and they'll squeak one again I'll switch back to maggot or worm and we'll see if that pulls out anything there's plenty of small fur just coming up on the surface and rolling and stuff and jumping and you would think if I just sat there on maggot I'd get a lot more perch but not really sure at the moment but we'll keep going as we always do We've done okay, can't complain, we had some nice big perch earlier on. And I must have had, I don't know, over 20 or even 30 rud, so I've had plenty of rud. And I can literally put a single maggot on and get one a cast, so. But really, it'd be nice to get into some of them big bream. Or even a tench, if we're lucky. Oh, here come the rain. Don't really want too much of that. You can probably hear it hitting the brolly. As long as we keep the camera equipment and stuff out of the rain, we should be okay. I've sort of set up so everything's under here and I'll put some stuff back in the car so it don't get wet. Got no problem being out of the rain. Shorts and t-shirts is probably not the best thing to be in, but can't complain. Right, so we'll give this sort of 15 minutes, half an hour on sweet corn, see if we can pick up something a bit bigger. If not, we'll switch back to maggot and we'll see what takes that. Well, we've still got rain, thunder and lightning. You can probably hear the thunder and lightning in the background there. So right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... playing a load more ground bait out there again, I think, because it's gone a bit quiet. I don't know if that's because the bigger fish have moved in, but I don't think so because I can't seem to get a bite, so... I'm going to bang some more balls of ground bait out there. Keep on the umbrella while the rain and thunder and lightning is going through. And let's see if that improves things. So let's get some ground bait out in the water. I might have to take a shot off one of my floats. One of my floats? <laughs> one of my shot off my float. Lift it up a little bit because the rain's actually pushing it under. <laughs> Lovely weather. <laughs> you better see these balls going in and throwing out. Hopefully the rain won't come and just settle in. I'll keep trying. I would have thought the bream would have moved in on this by now, but there's only one way to push it, isn't there? <laughs> and that's like this. My whole area must be covered in ground bait down there. I'm going to tip a load more um, hemp and stuff into the mix I think. I'm 
Oh, look at that Rami float. <laughs> A big old bird going for a swim about 10 minutes ago. Kept diving and going down for fish. Lovely bit of thunder and lightning. Oh, the rain's calmed down a bit. So, is this lot going to pull them in? Or have I put too much out there now? got much left in the bucket now so I might as well use it up. I can see bubbles coming up but I'm pretty sure they're bream bubbles but if that is the case then why aren't we catching them? How are they getting away with it? Last couple of handfuls by the looks of things. There's a lot of feed in there, there's a lot of um a lot of hemp and stuff in there that time. Which I normally find brings a roach in but don't think I've had a roach. We've got plenty of rud. <laughs> Here come the old rain again. Another big boat now coming out as well. Whew. And that's the old grim bait gone. Mary Bell. Nice when people on the old boats wave to you and stuff. <laughs> it was good, my old umbrella just went then. Need the umbrella, we don't want that disappearing. <laughs> right, I'll let that settle. Give that a few casts. We just mag it, I think, and see if I bring a few fish in. Okay, so I took one of my shot off. Let the float come up slightly. There's a current seem to be pulling under a bit. Um, we've got a double maggot on. And let's see what happens now. It's still raining as you can see. Can we get a fish? Wonder and lightning seem to be moving across over to me right. The sun's trying to come back out, but the rain's not holding up. But I don't mind the part of all that, as long as we're getting a few fish. So, are we going to get a bite? Or did I just put loads and loads and loads of bait down there? and overfeed it.
a lot of my stuff's getting wet, but not for that. It's going to make too much difference. I'm starting to get wet myself now, that's so any trouble. <laughs> no water, I'll put a couple of drips in the umbrella somewhere. Move it around a bit and see if there's only one spot. Well, we ain't getting a bite yet. But then we'll probably just really have fed to swim. We're all that ground, mate, so can't really complain. And what we'll do is I'm going to call the lily there. I'm going to get nothing if we call the lilies. I'm going to try. Just drop it down here in a in a random spot for a minute or so. See if we can get a bite. Down there. Normally the rain helps turn on the fish a bit more, but it's normally in lakes. I'll get a bite down there either by looks things. I think I'll just overfed it a bit. Let's <laughs> move it around. Let's throw that. Yeah, we've got a bite down there. Fish on. Very small fish, but it's still a fish. I'm trying to swing it under the umbrella now. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Spin your own to show you what it is. That's uh, just a... Oh, they jump out of my hands. <laughs> yeah, you know, most fish do that to me. Just another little rod. Must be thousands of these things. Hundreds of thousands of these in the boards. Right. Chuck that back. As you can probably hear, still hammering down. We're all right tucked up under the arm, probably under. Not causing us any hassle. All right, see if we can get something else. Fish on. Now, I guess what it is was spiking me away. I have a nice little perch. Definitely a small one, this one, but still another fish. We had loads more little rud, but can't seem to get through them to get any bigger fish if there is any down there. Tried to the sweet corn, tried worm. Tried all sorts and that's just not happening. But let's keep going. Got a couple of hours left now before dark. So let's see what we can get. Fish on again. That one was on worm. Don't know what that shadow is in my way, but yeah, that, that one was on. <laughs> Them worm. How many times? Right, let's get it back. So I'm just having to go sort of quite close in down here now. Sorry about the post and that in the shop, but that's the only way I can get the angle off so you can see the float. Let's see if we can get another bite down here. We just had two perch on a row down here. One was on double maggot, one was on worm, I've got worm on again. 
never know, we might get another one. Can get some big old perch in the broad, someone's, you know, they go up to four pound. But I would say you target that sort of thing on a little lure or soft plastic, you know, soft rubber thingies. Or actual live bait, I would say a live bait probably be better for something like that. That you know, if you're going that big. Well, we haven't got a bite this time as quick as I did in the last two. show you where I was getting them ones because they're off the baited spot the baited spot seem to be a bit slow to be honest it's, you know you can produce a little rod every cast but be nice if we can get something a bit bigger like them big perch we had when we first got here I'm very surprised that the big broom have moved in All sorts of things happening behind me, there's loads of boats going out again now. Sun's out, it's got quite warm now. There's blokes wandering around with their tops off and stuff. Turned into quite a nice evening. Mm. Surprised I ain't got a bite. Let's have another little flick. Just change where we're sitting. Tom's on the beach, it's got to land in the right place, isn't it? I think I've spooked a little shoal off down there, down there now. Let's try going further out, see if it makes any difference. I didn't quite want to go there. More cars, find some fish again, and then I'll bring you back again. Well, <laughs> bit bigger rod, biggest rod of the day. Obviously, we've had perch much bigger, but well, it was a roach to start with, but not too bad. All right, let's put it back, get a few bites again. But only got about an hour's worth of light left, so. We'll do our best and we'll see what else we can get. The weather's changed a lot now. I'll spin you around and show you what's what. Well, I've got about an hour of the session left now, and all I keep getting is there's pike down in front of me, and they keep smashing the little rod and roach. So that's probably why there's no bigger fish down in front of me. But we ain't gonna give up. We've got to try, aren't we? You might even see one come flying out of the water and take a fish in a minute. That's done it three or four times now in the last half an hour. Everything's calmed down now, as you can see. It's flat calm most of the time. Keep getting a bit of wind down this side, but nothing to worry about. A bit chilly. So it's half six, that'll be dark by half seven, so we're in the last hour. This would probably be a good spot to come and try with a lure or put a dead bait out. If it's 
פרויקט היה נעשה את זה. They're getting the odd bite on maggots, but obviously the pike are scaring the fish. So they're not going to be, yeah, worrying about feed on the bottom. Definitely not perched because they're too big. make a really big rupture in the water when they come flying out and take a fish. There's fish jumping all over the whole area, but it's not happening anywhere else, so I reckon there's a few fish down there taking the fry and stuff. Got three white maggots on at the moment, gonna give that a go. Most of the boats are coming on red maggots. I have tried other areas, I've tried, I'll show you actually. Just put this down and slacken off the clutch. I've had a good old go down the back of that boat there, down sort of close in between the boat and the bank. Had a couple of really good takes down there and hooked into one good fish, which I think was a decent perch. I'll try it all the way along that boat in the edge of these lilies across them lilies, all the way down this near side bank. So I've been having a good old go. Just can't seem to find much, much bigger. <laughs> Still getting the old boat go past, but nowhere near as many now. What I'm gonna do, I think, is a couple of handfuls of maggots and see if that turn a few things on. I think it's the case now of maybe getting a few more rudd, maybe a nice perch, if we're lucky. And what we'll do is we'll bring us in. Make it so it's got a nice big bunch of maggots on it. Put whites and reds on it. Another big boat now coming down. There's that nice big bunch of maggots. Let's see what it does. Here come a nice boat. Let's see if we can get a bite. Just about see the float there. That's very low for some reason, actually. What's going on there? I think we caught around one of the lilies. Maybe not, I don't know. Let's have a go there.
You think earlier on in the sun, we, we could get a bite pretty much straight away if we put a couple of maggots on down there. But it doesn't seem to be happening right now. And so I thought the bream would have moved on to them, but with them pike being there, I think they're scaring everything away. It's a shame. Drop it back a bit and just come right back, shall we? There's not much happening there, so I'm not saying that. Both of the maggots are gone. <laughs> through the grid down here. That's not good. That's out. <laughs> Gotta shallow up just slightly. Right, a bit tight. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna take my middle weights off and I'm just gonna let this flutter down at the same pace as I've Planes going across above. Right, so let's try again. Let's have a go about there, shall we? The maggots are going to fly down now slowly. Let's see what they can, if anything. Oh, we've actually got a bite. Oh. <laughs> They're only taking the red maggots. What's that all about then? Right, let's... Let's go double red. So I'm just get all the fish again. As you probably saw. Alright, so we're gonna go double red. Draw for about there, you should be able to see that, yeah. Let's see what that does, if that produces a bite straight away, because that's the red maggots they're taking. There's a lot of fish jumping down to my right, just in front of the boots there. And gone straight away. I was just waiting that to go straight away with the double red. Is this what they were pulling off when I had three white in there as well? Let's 
see if there's anything there close in. Points are getting a bit strange, to be honest. Oh no, we got we got a bite. Can we get a fish? What I'll do is I'll cast around a bit, find a spot where I can get some bites, and I'll bring it back in. I have to fish away from these pike, I think. Well, these pike are not giving up; they're smashing the fish all over the place there. But what I did just have, which was annoying, I just had a kingfisher take um, land on my rod, which was cool. But I couldn't get a, couldn't get it on film because that. I was holding it, <laughs> which is a shame. You can see where it's sitting in the tree over there, but yeah, that would have been good. And also up there, where is it? Just there. Got a heron sitting up there, as you can see. Quite a nice wildlife around there. But yeah, fishing wise down here at the moment. I'm getting the odd bite still of the maggots, but that's really hard work with these pikes striking all these fish. There must be three or four down there because they're literally going every few minutes. It's getting dark now as well. Believe it or not, I know you can't see that in the camera, but this is not going to be low before I can't see the float. And I'll have to back up. So it'd be nice to end the video on a fish. So let's see if we can just hook one more fish. We've got here a little rod, perch, bream, whatever. Let's just try and get a bite. and end the day on a good note, basically. Oh, we've got a bite now, actually. Coming over to the left. Oh, really? <laughs> Don't know how we can get these serious bites like that and not get them. Doesn't make sense. That was flying along. Let's put double red and white on. Try again. They're probably just really small fish. And... Yeah, and they're just taking the maggot and not the hook. hooting in the background, you can probably hear that. There's all sorts going on. Definitely a nice place to sit. Way, do you see where them not jump? <laughs> I think they got struck at. <laughs>
Schiff von Jokos, ne? Bis da weiter. Oh, aber so Beute, wie das? Come on, please. We're running out of time now. <laughs> Yay, fish on! What is it? It is Mr. Perch. That's good. I'm chuffed with that. It's not big, but... Oh, it's another fish. Yeah, Mr. Perch. Lovely. I'll carry on now. Let's see if we can get another one now. <laughs> so that took a red and a white maggot. What I did just do though, before we'd done that cast, is I just put one of my weights back on right down near my hook. So my bait goes right to the bottom very quickly. Shall I quickly show you? Better do that. Just got one every little shot. Very, very close to the hook. So let's see if we can repeat the process. Definitely getting hard to see the flow now. I hope you can see it on the camera. Yeah, I think you can. Just about. It's good to get that fish, but it'd be nice just to get another one. just before we run out of light. I will come back to this exact same swim at some point and um, we'll put the feeders out. We'll stick them out. One to the left, one to the right, out in the middle of the river. And we'll see if we have a better day like that. Not complaining, we've had plenty of fish. We've had well over 30 rod. Probably, oh not probably, definitely in the double figures of perch. And a couple of bream. Only skimmers, but. Oh, we've got a bite. And it's turned into a fish. Oh, Pope just went through again. Surprised we're still really getting. Oh, <laughs> fish just swam into the float. No, how well you saw that on the camera. Well, getting to that point where I can't see what I'm doing. So, maybe the last couple of casts. Oh, got a bite, but I lose it. Yep, fish, little tiny thing, but it's fish. <laughs> I'll show you that while I'm doing it. Just a little rod. Still another fish. Let's put that back while we're talking now. Right. Yeah, so, gonna have a couple more casts. 
just where I can just about see the float and then I'm gonna to have to bag up right then so See the bait up. <laughs> I know it won't look in the camera. Whew. I'm getting a bit nagging now, but I've been out for, for a few hours. I didn't just about make out the float. Let's see if we can just get a couple more bites. Yep, we got a bite. Oh, and we had a fish for a second. <laughs> Let's just whip it back out and see if we can get another one. Didn't chip me bait though, I should have chipped me bait bridge, shouldn't I? I know there was one red bang on there still. I lost it. <laughs> I had a little gudgeon on. Alright. Red and white again then. Another day I'll do a session where I fish in the dark. Like this, but we'll you know, obviously put a starlight on or something like that. So we can see what we're doing. Or we'll be on the feeder or something like that. But today I've got to get back because I've got some things to sort out. Oh, oh ho, ho. this pike striking all over the place around there. It's definitely a spot for doing a bit of piking. Can we get any more bites? Has anyone else fished here and you know, used a different method or done something different to what I've done? caught here if you've been here before as well and is it more of a hot spot for lots of pike <laughs> definitely lots of birds around there it was nice to have the kingfisher land right in front of my hands. It was literally like on here. <laughs> but because I couldn't hold it, I tried to get the camera. And as I moved the rod, it flew off. So the closest I've been to one. The colours on them are lovely, aren't they? That lovely blue and orange. That's a great guess time. Bait's alright. Get over this way a little bit so I can see it a bit easier.
families and that coming back to their boats and stuff now. They've been out for dinner and stuff, I think. People coming back with shopping from Tesco's and stuff like that. Come on, one more bite. So you do a quiet and down now, it's got dark. I think a few of the pike have moved off to the other side of the river over there because they're striking along the lilies and reeds over the left hand side there. Quite chilly now. I've got no over extra gear with me either. There's lots of little bugs come out as well. <laughs> oh, we've got a bite. Oh, <laughs> really? Crazy how the float can just go and then get the fish. And again, here we go. Oh, we got this one. It's only a diddly. Oh, we dropped it. <laughs> you can't see that. Can you? I'm getting a few little bites again anyway. We got here. Ooh. Big old helicopter. Big old helicopter going across. Whew, well, not a bad session really. All packed up in the car as you can see it's pretty dark now oh naked from <laughs> just putting all the stuff in the car and that so yeah we had not a bad day was it we learned a few things we learned that that swim is going to be good for pike later on in the year as well so that's good um and i think next time we'll put a feeder out into the middle but we still caught loads of fish. We had well over 30 rudd, uh, 15, 16, maybe a few more perch. A couple of them were a decent size. And some skimmers. So not too bad. Surprised we didn't get any roach or decent sized bream. But I'm sure we'll work it out. The more times we fish it, the more times we work out you know, where we're going to catch them. But anyway, that was pretty good. Right, I'm going to get myself back, shower, food, all that sort of stuff. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff if you like what you saw in the video. And, as I say, I'll see you soon in the next video.